Wait, remember Stoked? You know, that other cartoon from the creators of 16, Total Drama, Garage Band, and more? I mean, if the animation style didn't give it away, then now you know. Very much similar to the other shows in their formats, Stoked is a tubular time about a group of surfers hitting the waves and all their stories that can come from that, and working at a resort. It's basically the ultimate summer show, so what better month to speak about it than December? You're welcome. If you enjoy the video, you better subscribe, grab your board and apply some sunscreen, we're hitting the waves. Do your job and you may even get a credit in the film. Welcome back to the 25 Days of Fringe Miss, where there's going to be brand new videos every single day from December 1st to December 25th. Hop aboard. Stoked follows a bunch of groms, a term meaning younger or more amateur surfers, which can also be applied to various other board-based activities, who all end up on Sunset Island in British Columbia to live the life of what could be deemed as the endless summer. I mean, with a name like Sunset Island, it better be pretty dang special. We have a nice mix of characters similar to the other shows, Emma, Finn, Brosif, Johnny, Lowe, and Reef. They are our main group that we follow during their interminglings. But their time there isn't only about surfing. Well, it is, but it also isn't. By that I mean this group also works at the Surfers Paradise Ridge Mountain Resort. So it's not play all day, it's work all day and maybe find some time to play. There's a lot of rundown features at the place that they're staying at, and everyone working there feels their own level of misery for it, whether it be the outfits that they have to wear or just the workload in general. But Gromfest is coming up and throughout the next 12 weeks the group must somehow balance working and finding time to surf to prepare for this big event. Let's take a a deeper look into the characters from the show. First we have Leslie, who goes by the nickname Reef, who's voiced by Jeff Geddes. He's very much the I don't really want to work and rather be doing anything else type, usually finding ways to get around the manager so he can go surf. He is also into crushing on girls and spends a fair amount of his time trying to win over their affection, specifically Finn. Finn, voiced by Katie Crown, is the type of person looking for a good time but always has a pretty chill vibe about them. I mean, she surfs and hangs out, what more do you need in life? She always has this back and forth with Reef where it teeters the line of fighting and flirting, which is the main thing we see between the two throughout the series. She doesn't take anyone's crap though and is pretty strong-willed as a person overall. Brosif, voiced by Mazen Elza Dig, is the real chilled one, living the closest to what happiness looks like for what all these characters want to do, giving off pretty spectacular vibes, being there for his friends and offering the right things to say when they are needed. Out of the rest of the cast, he actually is pretty cool about working at the resort, and for his focus on surfing comes from the rush of it, the thrill of it, what it all means, he holds on to that greatly. He doesn't want any Thing from it. He doesn't want to compete with it, he just respects the way of the water and enjoys what peace it brings him. Emma, voiced by Kristen Fairley, is the newest to surfing after taking up an interest in trying it before coming out to work at the resort. She is really nice and everything, but is pretty naive and a bit oblivious to a lot of things. Lauren, voiced by Anastasia Phillips, is at the resort as well and works there, but her dad is the owner of it. So that means things should be pretty easy, right? Well, she works there now as a punishment with no access to stuff like her credit card specifically after she threw this massive party that ended up getting news coverage and the police having to come shut it down. So while it is a punishment, she is still going through with it to prove to her father that she can be responsible and earn her rich lifestyle back, and his trust as well. But she still, much like the other characters in the show, brushes off a lot of those responsibilities whenever she feels like it. She has a younger and older brother that we end up seeing there as well, Ty being the older one and George being the younger. Then there is Johnny, voiced by Arnold Pinnock, who is more seniored at the resort having worked there before and operates the front desk. He is a pretty big crush on Emma, but like I said, she's pretty much none the wiser to it because of her nature. He's probably the most mature of the group and often offers a lot of perspective to the others in the show. Ew! Up next, it's Stoked on Cartoon Network.
Stoked comes to us from Fresh TV and would premiere on Teletoon in Canada on June 25th, 2009, and from there would make its way to Cartoon Network in the US around a month later on July 16th, 2009. Fresh TV was created by both Jennifer Percht and Tom McGillis. After working under Nelvana and After 16 was well into its run and Total Drama Island was pumping out the strongest, Stoked was just another attempt to create another teen-based show, just no longer at a mall or on a reality TV show. It would keep the hangout vibes we've seen before, but would hope to strike its own unique feeling. How do we focus again on the teens and their individual relationships, but make it different from what we've had before? Especially when now we have a specific thing that for the most part, all of the characters have in common with surfing. But what does separate it is that again, for the most part, these are strangers at first to one another. It wasn't a pre-established friend group, so we get to follow how their relationships grow with one another. But as far as how the show came together, there really isn't too much more under the surface, if any. I think Stoked is a pretty fun show, already being a fan of the look of it because of my love for the show 16, but where that show had the characters stand out amongst a pretty visually muted in colors mall, here the setting is really nice with the visuals using the environment to their advantage. Sunny days, colorful sunsets, and a cast of characters themselves still find room to stand out against that. I like how the resort itself is contrasted to the beaches and outdoor life and how it affects the moods of the characters as well. So when we do go outside or when we do go get to hit the waves that allows for a lot more visual variety and makes it pop out way more. I guess my main thing here is that I don't get as attached to these characters from Stoke as much as I have to the other shows that Fresh TV has made. I don't think it's for the length of the show or anything. I feel that they're just a bit less interesting and really kind of feel a bit derivative from one another. And especially if you start comparing them to the other characters in the other similar shows. Sure, they do have clear differences in their personalities and with how they operate their day to day, but it all leads back to surfing and I get it, that's like the backbone of the premise. It just does doesn't have another layer to it than that to bring me more invested into this cast. And while I think the setting is so much visually cooler, I just don't connect as much with the beach setting, some parts lack of interest, some parts being stung by a jellyfish as a kid. I don't mess with the ocean anymore. But that's a lot of my personal things and not really the show's fault. I do think that it is still a solid show with some fun characters, good memorable moments, and a nice take on an already used aesthetic. And I would say if you're a fan of the other shows, then yeah, you'd probably really like this one as well. If you haven't seen the other sister shows, there is still a lot to enjoy here that make the show pretty cool, regardless if you like or dislike the beach and or surfing culture. I do though enjoy this back and forth relationship based plot where some characters like other characters and some end up together and some don't and then some you didn't expect to see together end up together or do end up together but end up not staying together by the end of it. And that's what I think the real meat and potatoes of this story is here. Mixing that with the beach setting, it really feels like like it has this extra little dramatic flair and constant character growth always going on. Let me also bring up the manager, Andrew Bomber, voiced by Corey Doran, who constantly is called Bummer, being both a play on his last name and how the others who call him that feel about him. Not that this show really has antagonists, he would fill that authority role that the others would like to disobey. He's not the worst, like he totally could have been more of a prick, especially to how often his employees try to get out of doing their jobs or how bad some of them are at whatever they get tasked with, but he still has some of his pretty bossy traits and focuses on the job more so than his employees. But can you blame him when the employees just still get away with whatever they want, it seems? He's career driven and wants to do the best job at operating everything to the best that he can. He just harshes the mellow for the others though, and for that, I understand calling him bummer. I really also like the character, the Kahuna. We first meet him as the bus driver in the show, bringing everyone to the resort, but his character throughout the show is just, uh, he's comforting. Like, I feel like we all know someone who is the kahuna, has this same chill attitude, has that same wonderment, and also can give you some really good advice when you need it. And honestly, he may be the best character in the show. I think the biggest issue that this show faces is that it really isn't that much different from the series 16. It has a similar premise and structure, just changing around some characters and the setting. But unlike the other shows like 16 and Total Drama, why didn't this show go on for as long as those other shows? With Stoked having the smallest run of two seasons with 52 episodes. I did it! I had to eat my weight in chimichangas! Is it as epic as they say it is? Best in the country. It's the premiere of Stoked, Thursday at 8.30.
Well, all that we truly know is that Stoked, in comparison to the other shows from Fresh TV, wasn't performing as well viewership-wise. Mix that in with a lot of similarities, voice work, plots, and the look of the show. It just wasn't the success that 16 and especially Total Drama was. It didn't even get to air the majority of what's left of Season 2, at least for the US market, leaving any viewership more confused than anything when it didn't continue. The show doesn't have that many or major through-line narratives that would have left you on a cliffhanger or any sort of forum digging for questions, but the show itself did have a more proper ending dealing with the Gromfest competition, which we have been loosely preparing for during the whole show. The final episode, titled Gromfest, is the event itself, which is the biggest surfing competition on the West Coast. This also means that the summer is coming to a close, and for the majority of the cast, it means that they would all be free from working anymore and will go back to their lives dealing with school and whatever family stuff they have. So at the end of the day, whether it was officially cancelled or just stopped because the lack of interest on all sides of the production to invest more into the show, at least there is somewhat of a proper ending to the series that was built up to the surf competition. So you don't feel disappointed by the end of it, which was nice to see. I think it comes down to being too much of a good thing. We had all these other shows from Fresh TV that by the time Stoked came to be, it was been there, done that. The characters and the stories, despite having a drastically different location, felt too similar and the other shows already had very developed fan bases, giving Stoked very small room to operate and do the same. I like to imagine that it was always planned to be a short show, as we got to the end we heard about since the beginning, giving us a nice summer vacation peek into the lives of different teenagers and their love for surfing or dislike of working. Oh, and you think I'd forget to mention Wipeout, the resort's mascot? I would never. I love this little mysterious purple killer whale in his board shorts. How can you not leave with a smile just as big as his? But I want to know what you think about this show. I know I spoke a lot about comparing it to its sister shows, but in reality, especially being a major fan of the other shows, it's kind of hard not to. But again, to hold it in its own regard, it is a fun little show that may be the perfect little vacation you need. But just remember, seasons do change and that's okay. We always have the next summer. You know, that didn't come off as deep as I thought it did in my head. I guess that's why I hang out in the shallow end of the pool. Anyway, see you in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Later.